Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Oh, okay, yes, we're playing. Um, so, uh, my identity is Robert, and welcome back to another video of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Oh god, where'd she go? Okay. <laughs> it went all dark there for a second. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this is episode three. Uh, the final episode of the main game, um, and I have uh, purchased the uh, deluxe version. So hopefully, um, hopefully um, we'll unlock an episode where we can play as Max, um, sort of a prequel to uh, the first game, like a prequel even to this. So yes, if you enjoy and you know know what to do, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have not, so yes, okay. What do we have to do? Uh, points at viewfinder and press A to join Rachel. Okay, right, that's easy. Okay. <laughs> so, in the last episode, we found out that uh, the woman by the tree we saw with Rachel's uh, father is actual, actual, actually uh, her mother, birth mother. So, okay, well, here we'll look. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. 
sometimes. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Oh, wow, okay, so he's uh, telling uh, the story, which is pretty cool. Like, I like the way, uh, the way this is, like, the story's been told. So alive. So passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Right, okay. Parenthood. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was, a destructive person, someone who could never be satisfied by anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Oh wow, okay. The plot thickens. Uh reunion. Oh yeah, so this is this is present day stuff now, I think. Yeah. What you saw at the overlook, Rachel. It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Oh, okay, it's um it starts to make sense now. <laughs> okay. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in fifteen years? Fifteen years. No. It's a long time. I sent her money. 
every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Suddenly. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Oh, right, okay, we got you. Let's walk around. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Right, okay, but, oh god. Um, it's been a while since I played this, so how do I check, check my messages? Again. No, let's pause game. Um, ah, here we go, right. Group SMS. What? What is this? What is this? Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest Cast party. Oh, the party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're, we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you you did awesome, babe. Uh, hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you totally saved us. Without you, there would have been no shows. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we can't come to your your party after party thing because uh yeah we're kind of in the middle of something you know so <sighs> um this must be hard for you too mr amber yeah digging up the past worse. my biggest fear is that rachel will try to meet sarah <laughs> i've dreaded it so that's why you never told her you have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, let's talk to the mother. Uh, 
what her name is, Joyce, oh, Rose, <laughs> who's Joyce, oh, that's, 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 that's Chloe's mum, isn't it, Joyce, um, I told you guys, it's been a long while since I've played this, so, you know, just bear with me, um, so yeah, this whole situation is, uh, is, uh, it's a bit complicated, I mean, I think, I think Rachel should have the choice if she wants to go and meet her mother, uh, or not, but, you know, I, I can, I can sympathize and, you know, I can understand where the father is coming from. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we all should, uh, support Rachel in what, you know, she wants to do after, you know, she's had a little think upstairs. Um, because, you know, taking all this stuff in, um, you know, it's. Rachel took that pretty hard. I should see if she's. Yeah, okay. I will. That's, that's, uh, I, that's on my list of things to do. Um, hey, but yeah, we all should support her in whatever, uh, decision she makes. at this point, considering everything. Okay. Rose. Sorry that tonight turned out so, uh, differently. That's all right. Yeah, that's one way to put I'm it. I'm really <laughs> quite glad that you're here. Um... So I didn't catch what she said. Uh, <laughs> I was I was looking somewhere else. Never mind. Thanks. I'll just see that. Why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. Oh How yeah. How you doing, yeah. Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I'm doing better than Rachel. <laughs> it's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. She has there a lot of reasons, reason to be, reasons to be Rachel's upset. Past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, um, you was just doing what you thought was best, so... Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years... Hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me, or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Yeah, um, right. So, um, after all that, uh, I've looked at all these things, uh, before. Um, I think I've looked at all of them. Well, that's pretty nice. Nice little porch area. Uh, I like that. I like the door. The door's kind of fancy. Um, <laughs> pretty cool to ones. Anyway, yeah. Um, let's go upstairs to see how Rachel is, is doing. Uh, cause that's what we should do, and that's how we prog- on, um, make progress with the game. So, <laughs> yeah.
错。So life is strange before the storm, episode three. Hell is empty. I hope you guys enjoy. And like I said at the start of the video, if you do, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. And、um, yeah, so we are in Rachel's room.、Um, so press and hold L T to view your objective. Yes, that's a pretty. Be here for Rachel. That's my objective.、Um, that's a pretty neat.、Um, Way to look up your objectives.、Um, we found that out in the first episode, of course.、Um, but I, I still think it's a really neat way、uh, to do it. So yes, oh, that's a that's a,、um, a bag that we she packed to leave, I suppose. Right, let's <laughs> let's look at one side of the room, and、uh, yeah. Rachel has so many inspirations. Oh my god, I ain't reading all that. Yeah, inspiration board thing. Okay,、I、ain't reading <laughs> all of that. Okay, above all, remember, you are loved. The Ying and Hadas Yang of Rachel Amber. Before all else, be armed. All right. Okay. Um, there's a bag. Yeah. So. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Wait, last night. So is it? Is this the next day? <laughs> I thought it was the same night. I don't know. I'm confused. As I said, it's been a while since I played this. Like just over a month. So. Through batshit crazy family drama. No. Okay. Yeah. Any of these things you guys can pause and read if you wish.、Um, I'm just having a quick flick through them.、Safe. Sure. But from who? May you always be safe, love, Dad.、Hmm. What's in here? Take. Oh, it's flashlight. Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse.、Mm. Yeah, so take that, I suppose. <laughs> For um, any dark places. Yeah, it works. Go and stuff that in my giant Tardis pocket. So why not a journal? Uh, Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's、uh, after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please, no, I can't, woman. <laughs>、um, yeah, I know she's like worried about Chloe and stuff, but、uh, yeah, I can't go home because the game doesn't permit that, and、um, Chloe has、uh, stuff to do. So,、uh, open this drawer. Yeah, stuff to do, meaning look through someone else's stuff. Because <laughs> why not? I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Ah, yeah. Well, she's straight A student. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's hack a laptop. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Oh my God, I ain't reading that. Weird. Okay, yeah. If you guys want to pause and stuff, as I said. Uh, feel free to. Oh, graffiti over that room. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. Yeah, it's still like in graffiti over it, but I wonder what. I think Rachel could use another subject. Hmm. But which one? Uh. Okay. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's the one. Huh. Um. Oh god. Hold on. Ah,、oh, which page was that on? I wait. Here we go. Oh no, that's episode one. Episode three. Here we go. Okay, where do babies come from? Show and tell. <laughs> okay. Um. 
Uh, yeah, ooh, save. Ooh, those could come in handy for later. <laughs> or, or that can come in handy for later. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Oh, was you going to put it there? I thought it was going to stuff it in her pocket. <laughs> but anyway, let's look at these books. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Complete works of William Shay. Ugh. <laughs> ah, globe. Oh, it's a glowing globe. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I don't know. Here's the map. Graffiti over this. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Yeah, considering who's the president, it's uh, very scary. Um, but something Rachel said, something I said, something Rachel said. On stage, I think Rachel said. I don't think she minds that I'm graffitiing over her stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, our mere prologue. Yeah, yeah. Picture. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Yeah, that's another storyline altogether. Uh, right, so anything, before I talk to Rachel, is there anything here? And there's a lot of stuff here. Nightlight. She has that nightlight. <laughs> Turn on. Light up the darkness. Well, that's pretty. This light needs more light. Yeah, to turn off the other, the other light. And then, uh, might work a bit better. Uh, I wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Okay, yeah. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so. Uh, alone. No. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we've looked... I'm not talking directly into the mic. Um, but yeah, we've looked at everything, I think, but I don't know how to make... Ah, flashlight, here we go. I knew we needed it for something. Science. <laughs> All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Ah, light show. Okay, stars. Hmm. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. Yeah. Tell me now. <laughs> hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Yeah, I've just been looking through your things, you know, hope that's alright. <laughs> See, look, um, stars. Eventually. Just turn it on. <laughs> you don't have to be gentle, it's not fireworks. You see, I told you to turn that off earlier. It's nice though, but I told you to turn it off. <laughs> hey. Hi. Check it out. I've brought outside indoors. Hope you like it. It's mm. beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to space myself. You know, to see planet Earth from from space. You know, exactly. would be kind of cool. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. 
that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. Hey, yeah, you know, an anyone can be a mother. My real mom. Don't have to. Don't have to. Um, be blood related. That's not what makes a mother. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. Oh, it's pretty sad. Um. But yeah, I mean, she can, you know, after after she recovers a little bit, you know, she can still um, think of Rose as a as a mother because you know she's been there, and um, you know anyone can be a mother if a, a mother or, or a father if they want to. Um, you know, you don't have to be blood related. You know, what makes someone a mother is 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 being there. And you know, looking after you and and all the motherly and fatherly fatherly stuff. Um, you know, you don't you don't have to. You, uh, giving birth to someone doesn't make you a parent. So, yeah. <laughs> Before I go too deep into the subject, I'm just gonna press B <laughs> to continue on with the game. The fact that she's here right now. She came here for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily. I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I'm gonna press I've got an idea. Even though I haven't got an idea. But that option has... It came up, so I assume Chloe has an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You ah, yeah, I forgot that Frank knows her. Shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I've got that one too. I think I can handle that. Hmm. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? Yeah, really? <laughs> I'll give it my best. <laughs> Alright, you know you just be a mechanic overnight. <laughs> Even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, 
I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. That's so pretty. Oh, we're in the dream again. What's he doing? <laughs> um, oh, Brit, oh, Brit, uh, like, it's as if we're in the car. And everyone's watching. I think we're stuck. Hey. Maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Like, she does know um, stuff about cars. <laughs> uh... Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. God, that's kind of creepy. Right, Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Nope. Mm -hmm. Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's... It's not it's real. just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. He said a lot of stuff. Um, in the, in the, the old English language. Uh, the world's a stage, sound and fury. Huh, I don't know. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. Yeah, well, I think he might have said it uh, differently. <laughs> actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. 
That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh, God. Was that really fl floodlights and sound effects? <laughs> well, that looked real. <laughs> um. Wow, okay, that was a bit... That was a bit vicious, to be honest. <laughs> Who said boo? I think... I think that... I mean, that was vicious, but... If that was, you know, properly acted out on stage, that would be kind of brilliant, but... Vicious. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. Alright. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um... Okay, oh, is this... Is this Chloe's room now? Are we back home? Uh, cables by the heater. I'm just gonna fry them up. <laughs> yeah, we're back home now. Okay. Wow. <laughs> just the way we left it. <laughs> okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. Oh. You yeah, not. Well, I guess. Yeah. Um, that did went well. Um, what at least he's agreed. Into? Mm. I ask myself that every day. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, thank you for being there for me last night. I am feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. Uh, I'm a good, yeah, uh, yeah, well, I, I personally don't know, but I'm sure Chloe does. Um, okay, okay, that's also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with, uh, Sarah. Uh, yep, I'm still at my house, just, uh, showering and grabbing tools for the truck. So meet at junkyard, I'll be there, you're amazing, Chloe Price. Yep. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. Two hours, oh my god. A shower would be fucking amazing. I think in two hours this episode will be over. <laughs> we've been, it's been, uh, oh, um, about 50 minutes, I'd say. Now, we're, I think we're about 50 minutes into this episode. Um, and it usually, I don't know, lasts for about three hours, three hours and a half, something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know if all these things that we've looked at before, uh, well, we have looked at them before, but I don't know if any of them be different. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Yeah. Oh, Figures. emails? Huh. Interesting. Um, what? The photo you tagged in. Um, can I go? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Oh. <laughs> Victoria, just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. 
Uh, so that what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. <laughs> Mad respect. No one asked you, Trevor. Steph Burn. Whoa, Chloe, that was classy. I know, it was classy, yeah. A further layer of nuance. Nathan almost pissed himself. Well, this was a good review. Well, uh, judging by the title, How anyway. Hard an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, I've decided to water this plant. Uh, better than nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, that's not what I quite I I had in well in mind, but um, yeah, I decided to water the plant because in the last game I forgot to water the plant in uh, Max's uh, room in Blackwell, and it died. Um, if I remember right, I think that's what happened. So um, yeah. Uh, report card. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Wow, C's and D's. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think, as Chloe said um, earlier, I think she can, you know, be an um, A star student, no, oh, straight A student, but she just doesn't want to. Um, which is a shame. But, um, you know. That's life, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not life, but. Okay. Oh, got a message from Victoria. Uh, okay. Oh my. Hold on. Have we read all of this? I don't think we've read any of this. Chloe Price, yes. I heard some after. Uh, crap from Nathan about you. What do you think you are? He does. Oh, yeah, we read all this. Go back to your trailer. Literally, I'm so obviously played you last night. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so hurt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember reading all this. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a crap about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Uh, oh, man. When you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the, in the butt. Uh, that's just the worst. Uh, F you, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hold down to move faster. Yes, I know. One day I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home, and not fuck this shit. Hey, mom's keeping her ring. Sweet, kind of. Really glad I stole that money for her. Suck it. Kitty upon. Yeah, suck it. You ain't getting no rain. Uh, so I saved that rain. I think I did the right thing uh, by putting the money in a purse. Um, yeah. Anything changed in this bathroom? Is that David's towel? Where the hell oh, is, is he? Has he actually moved in now? He's moved his stuff in already. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see electric My razor. Towels. Probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Okay, possibly in this tub. <sighs> Score. Yep, <laughs> I guessed it. Oh, what's that stuff? That's pirate stuff. I can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. Ooh. Never cut around to it. Blue hair dye. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna use that later on, I think. <laughs> Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water. Don't let me down. Okay. Hey, like I think I said in the last uh, video or the video before that. Or I, I know I've said it. You know, you can spend like ages looking at all this stuff um you know you can spend you can spend a few minutes looking at it, the stuff in each room um so i'm just i'm just quickly going over it, everything um so it doesn't it doesn't waste too much time and um yeah i'm i'm just trying to look at the important stuff so
Oh. Nice. There's blue hair coming on. <laughs> Wait, was it? Was it partly blue in the first game? Or was it all, all? I think it was all blue, I think. So, yeah, that's just the start. I believe. Ah, those are the boots, I think. Williams clothes. What do I feel like wearing on this? Well, the boots, for sure, I think. Um. Oh, bonus clothes. Dragon. Skull. I can't select the boots. It doesn't didn't let me select the boots. But okay, let's look at that's just a dragon, so let's look at the bonus outfits. Uh oh wait, uh, all these we looked at before. I think. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the dragon. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Now we're getting into um, into somebody that we recognise. <laughs> like it's sort, of, it's the same sort of outfit, like the same style, just just a different outfit, you know. That that you know what I mean. Um, but she hasn't got the tattoos yet, um, so maybe maybe we will get them uh, at the end of the game. So anyway, that was the dragon. Let's try a look at the skull. Maybe this this is the outfit, maybe? Ah, that's similar. I like the I like these outfits. These outfits are way better than previous outfits. Uh so okay. Um I don't know. I'm just gonna go through them all. So I can't quite remember them. I think we have looked at these three before. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, we've seen all this one before. Yeah. Um. Well, I definitely want an outfit with those boots. So, uh, Illuminati. I think that's the one we were wearing. I believe. Yeah, that's that's the one we were wearing. So. Um, yeah, we've been wearing that for a day or so now. <laughs> I don't know. Two days, I think. A day, a day or two. But, um... Okay, let's look at the hot dog one, just to remind me what that one looks like. Okay, I like that one, but I prefer... I prefer the first one. <laughs> Uh, the first one that we saw, uh, which is, is this, I, I'm just going to make sure. Can I not select anything else? Bonus outfits, dragon, the skull. Okay, yeah, I can't. Okay, well, I'm just going to wear this one, I think, because this one is is the closest one to her like original outfit um, from the first game, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna wear that one. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Zum. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Yeah, um, cause last time, um, I dressed her in a similar outfit to what she had in the first game, and now it's even more similar. Um, so I kind of like that. I kind of like that we slowly. You know, with the blue hair, you know, starting to come into play now. Um, I, I like that we slowly move in towards, um, towards the first game's timeline, sort of thing. And I can't leave. Can I leave? <laughs> so, um, yeah. I like that. Oh God, I was playing that awful music. Oh, downstairs. Uh, but I kind of, I want to, 
look around. I'm just going to uh, look around and then I'm going to transition, I think. Because, as I said, it, you can spend ages <laughs> looking through stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys downstairs. Alright, well, I've looked at everything upstairs. Um, <laughs> so, I'm sure that I haven't missed anything. So I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you at least I'm happy, I suppose. Breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Yeah, let's leave. She looks happy. <laughs> so. Hey, who's there? Hey. Uh, are, we pl are we playing that Hi. joke? <laughs> Your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last uh, night. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It was, it was, I mean, it was for, for the play. I did, but this is... Uh, is something different. <laughs> <sighs> None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home. Chloe. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I... Really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line. And I'm sorry. Um. Well, not to not to ruin the day, and you know, I think you know, bygones should be bygones and stuff. Um, I'm just going to uh, accept the apology. So, apology accepted. Okay. You know, to be the bigger person apology and all that, and it's quite big of him to you know apologize. Yeah. So. Good job. And. Good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... Meaning to show you something. Maybe. Maybe now's a good time. 
This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Okay, well, I think I should um, accept David's offer because I think... I think that's the best thing to do. I mean, you know, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the happiness, and you know, I can, you know, thinking, thinking to how he turns out in the first game, you know, he's not really a bad guy, um, and you know, I, I think, uh, I can see, uh, no, I think he is, he trying, uh you know, trying his best here, and I think he's being genuine, so, you know, for that, for those, those reasons, and I think, I think he's a good guy anyway, you know, even if, even if, um, we didn't know how he turns out, um, you know, because of the first game, um, I think, I think he, he still is a good guy, and he's still trying, you know, he's not, he's not trying to, you know, deliberately, uh, replace Chloe's father, um, because, you know, nobody can do that, um, uh, you know, not, not for, not for anyone, um, you know, as, there's many, many people, um, you know, in the world going through the same thing, you know, and nobody can replace, you know, their biological parents, um, you know, it, it sort of ties in with the subject um, before, you know, with the parent thing. Um, so, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but... Yeah, uh, I think he's been genuine, so... Uh, I'm going to accept his offer. Um, I hope... <laughs> I hope, I, you know, all of that and what Please, I say I'm previously so is... Like, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> I'm not good at explaining yeah, stuff, so... Yeah, but I know what I mean, so, and, um, you know, I try my best to, um, to, uh, tell you guys what, uh, what I mean, um, but sometimes that doesn't go well, though, um, sometimes I confuse people, but, um, yeah, let's just continue before I confuse you anymore. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Is that all this stuff? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. I 
All right. So, yes, that was uh, very interesting. Um, no, it's, uh, this 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 whole game is uh, dealing with a lot of family issues, and um, you know, I like that because it's you know it's 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 dealing with real issues. So, and uh, you know, it's giving you uh, an insight of of these issues. So, I like that. Um, but yes, off to the junkyard to fix the truck. Um, we know it, it is fixable, because we saw it running in the first game. So, um, yeah. Oh god, there's, there's the deadly train. I remember that train. It's, that train reminds me of the, uh, season one of The Walking Dead, uh, Telltale game. No, I think it was episode 3 that he was on the train. I remember that. The good old days. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Work with me here. Oh, <laughs> did she break something? <laughs> or did she fix something? I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, oh, did she hit her? <laughs> uh. Better. But still needs a bit more. All right. Okay. Well, love. we're fixing it. I okay. Salvage this beast. David again. Chloe, this is David. Yes, I know. Your name popped up. Uh, did my, did my mom... Uh, what? No, hold on, I'm trying to read all this. It's jumpy. I'm just going to let them finish, and then I'll, I'll help read. <laughs> okay. Yeah, great. How do I scroll up? It's not letting me... It's not letting me scroll up. Uh, where the... F Here we go, right, so let me scroll up this time. Okay, Chloe, this is David. Uh, did my mom give you my number? Uh, yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm kind... I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Oh, thanks. Okay. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Right, okay, so we've got some problems to solve here. Okay, okay right. Ooh, um, okay. Um, uh, okay, let's start from... I don't know. <laughs> uh, radio turn on. Yeah, let's turn radio, because that helps the cams down. Stan Stanwyck here, and we've got a special ah, treat okay, for neat. Okay. I can definitely see some problems. Live in Seder Studios. Just need to... Okay. It looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Fans, Sometime before I was born. Hi, fans. Now skip. At this point, I, I think that skip is better than Black anything Academy. I can do. Uh, better yeah. leave it be. Uh, right. Okay. We'll leave that be. Okay. Check the fuel filter. Does that need replacing? That the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pisshead. Haven't heard these guys yet. This thing is going to fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> I think it needs replacing. Um, replacing or cleaned. Yeah, we can just clean it, I suppose. Yeah. And then if it doesn't work after that, still just replace. It. Oh god. Ew. <laughs> Okay, that's that. Okay, check the this. Check the the um the belt here. <laughs> it's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Uh, hmm. Is this wrench? Yeah, I suppose you can use the wrench. I don't know.
I I only know the simple stuff about Much mechanics, better. so and that every car's like I mean every car is basically the same, but they're all different at the same time. Um, you know, it depends on the size of engine and stuff, I suppose. Um But things are always in different places and and stuff. But you know, the basic idea is 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 always there. Um okay, let's check the these uh, distributor caps. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Okay. Plies screwdriver. Distributed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that one loose? Me attached. Okay, oh, alert system again. Air quality health, uh, moderate to heavy smoke expected. Ooh. Limited outdoor activity. Oh, shit, I'm outdoors. No. We'll get the, this done quick. <laughs> I didn't read all of that, I just, I just skimmed through it. Because uh, I wanted to get back to my mechanics, but um, I will read it in a bit. Uh, check, yeah, check the. Um, this thing seems pretty gunked up. Yeah, gunked. Um, yeah, the. I think I should move on to something else. Oh. Okay, we're not going to check if it has uh, thin radiator thing. Um. <laughs> Maybe this connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Yeah, okay, let's try with the pliers. Yes, we're mechanic in. Wait, did my radio turn off? Oh. <laughs> What's happened to my radio? Fits like a deadly electric glove. Is this is this um Spike? Was it? Oh, his, his name's not Spike. Whatever his name is, Skip. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, uh, Skip and his band. All right, I think we fixed the truck as much as we we're, we're able, anyway. Well, in that part, anyway, we might need to do something else on it later. Please, I need you. Maybe it'll work. Oh, that sounds like it's working. Ooh, that number plate needs to be reattached. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Drifting. <laughs> Same fast and furious now. Slow down. <laughs> Otherwise the car might not make it in one piece. This is a bit rusty anyway. <laughs> it's got a big hole in the floor to start off with, so. Say hot, but 
Yeah, badass too. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. <laughs> Thanks, but rusty. <laughs> Should name it Rusty. <laughs> You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey. I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? Hey man, we're cool, man. It's all right. Frank. It's all cool, as brother. As you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you, she's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? I, no, I, I'm setting my goals a little higher. I mean, we're cool and all, but yeah. You know, my bar is just a little bit higher. That's all. So. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Well, it's just not what guys do, you know, it's, it's not what they should do. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Ah. Uh, well. I suppose, yeah. I don't know. It's true. There's no, there's no harm. You should give a shit. There's no harm in being straight. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. Okay. Then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. Oh. Not your business, a friend? Why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Because... Fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Yeah, Look, I'm gonna answer your question matters. with the question. We so we're both questions. asking the questions. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Oh. I'm not sure if that was the right thing to say, <laughs> but I didn't want to say the other thing. Come on, oh man. God! They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. Yeah, and you're a grown ass man with a threatening two two kids with a knife. <laughs> up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Wow. Oh. 
Okay, I'm going. I'm going to have to stop in here. Oh god! No, no, big guy! No, no, no! Ooh. What the fuck? Would you get stopped in the alley? Okay, well, I didn't, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I guess, I guess we, we're we're going to the hospital. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, that's the most sensible thing to do. Um. So we don't know anybody that's that's a doctor or anything, and the hospital is is the best place for her. So. <laughs> wow. I, I'm just I'm just a little shocked, like because I I didn't expect that to happen. So. Um. All right. Yes, we're at the hospital. <laughs> Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. All right, good. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Um... I'm trying to figure that out. It's my fault. Um, I don't know. Let's try to assess the situation. So, we tried to help Rachel um, by trying uh, to um, find where her mother is so they can meet. And um, so we call Frank because Frank knows knows the mother. Um, because, you know, of a drug addiction, and Frank's a drug dealer, and etc, etc. So, you know, we call Frank, say, um, you know, uh, asked, you know, can he help us? Uh, we were supposed to meet him, and just him, at the junkyard. Um, but then his, his friend came along too, and messed everything up. So, I don't see that. I don't see that as Chloe's fault because she was she was only trying to help, you know. I mean, like I didn't, you know. Chloe didn't know that the guy, the other guy, was was going to turn up, Damien or whatever his name is. I didn't either, <laughs> and I didn't I didn't really expect that, you know, to the whole the whole stabbing uh, to happen there, um, or to you know happen at all. I, I, just, I didn't expect that really. So, um. So, yeah, I don't, I don't see it as Chloe's fault, and you know, I guess things just got out of hand so quickly. You know, I mean, it started off calm and stuff, and then it, it, you know, it suddenly, definitely, you know, es escalated. Um, 
So yeah, I don't see it as her fault. So I don't I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I'm not exa uh, exactly sure, but... Uh, well, no, I, I, I guess, yeah, he, he wanted to know about Sarah, 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 whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, he was, he was asking yeah, like, why, why do why we want to so know her? Interested in Sarah. Yeah. And what did you say? No, nothing. Of course. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him and then he stabbed her I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something but when he attacked her I just froze it's not your fault and Frank held him off so we could get to the truck I heard a scream but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. Yeah. I'll see if I can pull Honestly, some um, away. honest. Maybe get you back into being black honest off. is the best policy. And um. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. Yeah, I but it's that still up to her. I think. Only a few minutes I... later, she might not have. Um... Yeah. Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be. Sometime before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I still think she she's um still obviously um would would want to meet up with her mother. Um I think. Hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, 
Our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Who's that? <laughs> I don't think I can oh, is it still any longer. Mikey's father? I don't know. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Oh, yeah, those, those, those are the people from the park. You're this useless now. What are you going to do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs... There's a sign for the prenatal class. Great. I guess that's your contribution for today. <laughs> those people suck. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. All right, just been uh, exploring this bit of the, of the waiting room. Uh, nothing much. Uh, we've got a chocolate. Uh, from the vending machine here, and we <laughs> we uh, drawn a picture uh, on the vending machine. Um, and yes, it's out of order, but there was a chocolate like hanging off one of the shelves, so we just uh, slammed it a little bit and it fell out. So yeah, and we got a text from uh, from Steph. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, you still around? We're in room 785 in case you forgot a call. Okay, so yeah, we have to go to room 785 to visit Mikey. Um, just to see how he's doing. And because Chloe is... Rachel's waiting uh, for me. Whoa. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks. Oh. Okay, seven. Wait, which... Hey, I forgot which room Mikey was in. Uh, where's... Seven eight five. Okay, this. Okay. Huh. Hello. All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are. I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey. Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Right. Sure. <laughs> Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not, um, you know, it's not my place to say, I don't think so, you know, he obviously knows something is up, so, uh, you know, I, I, I yeah, just, just go and ask him you about it. Probably ask Drew. <clears throat> I, uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. I hope the Norths are going to be all right. Chloe! Hey, you made it! Hey, Chloe. I 
Okay. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Mare? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough! Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Rachel's waiting for me. Shouldn't stay here too long. Huh. <laughs> Those must be from Steph's parents. Okay, just gonna quickly look around this room. Uh, oh God, this is, okay, alright, there's the door. Whiteboard. <coughs> Mikey's nurses must love this. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I think he is nice deep down, you know. Deep down. Oh, teddy bear. Teddy bear. That's cute. I guess. I think he's a teddy bear like every game. <laughs> Steph and Drew aren't leaving Mikey's side. What are you guys doing? I thought uh, never chilling. <laughs> I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks oh, no, you playing that game? Affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Elvin Chloe. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? <laughs> I Well, it is it was kind of fun first time around. <laughs> it's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit. So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Um. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Why not? You gotta save Elamon, right? I might not get uh, an opportunity to do this again. I don't think it'll take that long, will it? <laughs> we rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Oh no. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. 
Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I, I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. Elamon comes around a corner to discover... Chloe, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Yep. Uh, <laughs> greetings, powerful Elamon. From whence do you run? Uh, uh, float. Or whatever. Funny you should ask. I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. Oh no. After me now. Uh, no, I, uh, no, I in team. Need a hand? Sounds like you could use a hand from your favorite elf barbarian. Your crotch punching abilities are second to none. Suddenly, dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? Um, disarm bear hands. Uh, disarm? I disarm. Arm them. They're not carrying weapons. Oh. Then I grab the I thought, arm I thought they were. of the nearest <laughs> dragonkin. Oh, I just assumed they were. From its socket. Eighteen? <laughs> okay. You now wield a severed dragonkin arm. What's next? I beat them to death with it. You curl the fingers into a fist and bludgeon them with it, swinging the arm with a blind fury until no dragon can remain. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Uh, we can take him. Running sounds good. <laughs> running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Um. <laughs> to the forest, because maybe we can lose them in the forest. All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. I don't want to go into the cave, as just, as just in case we get trapped. The great trees, I don't know, I'm making this up. <laughs> silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol. I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. Uh, wow. Um, sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Now this is my kind of skill. Challenge. I mean, you know, we can awesome. if we Roll steal it successfully, we can. Uh, you know, grow his feet back. But um, on the ground and pick it up. Yeah. Ever so slow. There's a lot of dragging in chasing us. So. And slide the log into its place. Bit risky. Sweat pours down your face. You wait, but nothing happens. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The idol is yours. <sighs> Fuck yeah! Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Using the idol. Elamon channels the energy of the forest. Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elamon has a brand new pair of feet. Ooh. Yes, finally. <laughs> Suddenly, a bony hand shoots up from the ground in front of you. Then, the undead soldier it belongs to sits oh. up from his grave, sending dirt and pebbles flying. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Walking Dead is coming. It's becoming a reality. From his slumber. Balls. 
then the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest, an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround oh no. you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Hey, totally worth it. hey guys, we can well, talk about this. You know? Luckily, <laughs> the undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. You're near the edge of the forest when you run across... Oh, shit. Is that me? <laughs> You're gonna play? You've been dragged into this? Yeah, little brother. Pavel, the arrogant gnome bard, joins uh, your party. No. <laughs> um. Gnome bard? That's what she said. Know any firewalk? No, I don't know any of your shitty music. Damn. Ooh. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? There's probably a squirrel somewhere that you could fight. I don't need violence to solve my problems. I just need the power of music. This is awesome. Fine, but don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of undead has caught up to you. The first cohort launches iron spears directly at Elamon. What do you do? <laughs> Shield him with the bat. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do I that. Grab the bard. Do that for the laugh. Use him to shield Elamon. Whoa, hey. Can she do that? All's fair in love and tabletop. You whip the bard's little body back and forth, catching every spear as they fly at you. The gnome shrieks, <laughs> perfect F sharp with every impact. That was sick. Oh my god. You're a monster. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush, green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. Oh no. And you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> no, no. Surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. It's gonna be a triple threat I'm match. Sure you've got some <laughs> sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. What's Perfect. that? Searing crystal, these fuckers. <laughs> you don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like. Like dropping a nuke, it'll kill everything, including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's, there's only, only one. one Bracer. Yeah, I knew that was coming up. Ah, uh, well. You know, I, I, I died once, and, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be dead. Ah. <laughs> uh, die, well, you know, I died together. No, I'm supposed to be dead. The, like, the character, uh, Durgon. Oh no, was that the bad guy? Um, the elf barbarian person is supposed to be dead. Um, and, you know, we came back alive and we saved the, uh, the guy. Uh, like his character. So I think our, uh, you know, our, what we came back to do has, has been done. So, and we're supposed to be dead anyway. So, <laughs> sacrifice me. Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. To, su to succeed in backtalk, listen to your opponents and choose a related comeback. All right then. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. 
I'm too okay, weak. quest week. Uh, stronger. Um, 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 yeah. Elamon, you beat the shit out of Durgaron and took his bracelet. Bracer. Yeah. <laughs> bracelet. Yeah. See, you can do anything. I can do anything. I've never man. even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? Roll too low. You never died. Never backed down. I believe in you. You know what else you've never done? Given up. If either of us is going to survive, this is the only way. You're the only friend who's ever helped me. I, I can't leave you behind. It's alright, man. I'll be fine. Great help I am. I can be replaced. Some party mate I've been. I got your feet cut off. Taking the hit is the best thing I can do for this party. It's alright, you save yourself. <laughs> no, Chloe, I won't just kill you. You'll kill all of these monsters too. Think of how many lives you'll be saving by nuking their stupid faces off. Alright. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Elamon secures the Bracer of Fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the Elf Barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. <laughs> it's a game. Fire arcs outward in a ring. <laughs> then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe. For everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe. You've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? Oh no. Thanks, Elmon. Elf Eith these guys middle finger. Oh. I turn to Elamon and say Thank you. Before the flames burn me away forever. Elamon rolls not to cry. <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> the spell comes to a three. spectacular climax oh, no. <laughs> until all you can see is white. Then all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead, and the game's over? Yep, and Elamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well, what if I make a new character? Wait, really? You want to keep playing? Sure. This is going to be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Hmm. Yeah, right. I'm just going to do one last thing and sign his cast. Hey. And then I have to go see how Rachel's Can doing. You sign your cast. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hmm. Something nerdy. But not too nerdy. Hmm. Um, armor. Huh? Armor? <laughs> There you go. Cool. Oh, nice. Alright, nice, nice pattern. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Uh, so, if I can turn around. Oh, what's this on the floor? Oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to visit Rachel now, so, you know, um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and Mike, uh, Mikey, get, get well soon. <laughs> hey. Wait up a sec. Oh, okay. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. 
about the money. You were just trying to help. Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Sure. sure. Oh, God. <laughs> we we had the same guys. response. Bye, Chloe. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, which which room is Rachel in? <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe we had the same responses. Huh. Okay. Uh, hey, Mr. Feynman Sons. Went out. Went out. Those guys mean, look exhausted. No, it's yeah. Completely out. Okay. Oh, Rachel must be in this room down here. Oh, it's something on the board. Unless you get stabbed. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Rose. How how's Rachel doing? Hey. Chloe. I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet. Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Okay. Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen, but I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit! Please, wow. Mr. Okay. Um. Son needs so is this? Can we go in? Is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> wrong room. <laughs> okay. No, never mind. Okay, we're in the right room now. I think. Um, I mean, I thought the room with the door open was Rachel's room. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's in which room or anything. All right here we go. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. <laughs> My 
I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Stop. I mean it. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost- You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Yep. I knew it. I figured you would. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is... Will you find her, please? You really want this. Don't you? I do. Chloe, I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. Okay, Code well, I, I feel like this is not going well. Oh, 722, okay. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's... different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's... 
It's nice. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of happened. Uh, no, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Um I don't I don't know. Keeping it private. I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay though. Oh. I'm not sure if she she would want That's good. me telling everyone, but I don't know. I guess I'll stop by. We'll just play it safe, I think. Mikey. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. It's kind of weird that Rachel's being so private. Isn't it? No. It's really not. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean... You're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Um, yeah, I don't... I don't think... Um... It would be right to tell him everything and stuff straight away, um, because it's still still an ongoing thing, and um, yeah, I'm not sure if I made the right choices there, but you know, I don't think anything bad's gonna it's gonna happen from it. Uh, but you know, I know the guy's just trying to be there for Chloe and stuff, so you know that's nice, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't want to tell people everything straight away, you know, especially, as I said, it's still an ongoing thing, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I've made some right choices in this episode. I'm pretty happy with my choices so far, to be honest, and I think in the last video, not the first video, Hello? Hi. Um, I think I said that I'm pretty happy with all my choices so far and pretty much like at the end of each episode I usually feel like, um, oh I shouldn't have made that choice or I should have made that choice instead or whatever. Um, but for a change I feel pretty good about, about my choices so, yeah. Except that little moment with Elliot, like, I, I don't know. Maybe I could, uh, you know, made different choices there, but I, need I don't know. To search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Yeah, um, I know he was just trying to be there for Chloe, but I don't think, I don't think there and then was the time to tell everything. Um, 
Especially, as I said twice before, <laughs> it's an ongoing situation, so, yeah. If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. Shake the snow globe. <laughs> it's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad? <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Investigate. Hmm. Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Hmm. Will do. Hey Price, thanks again for playing with Mikey. Haha, <laughs> that was a good game. Good luck with whatever you're dealing with. Be safe. That's from all of us. Thanks. Mikey says, tell Chloe she can handle anything. Hope so. Yeah, we can handle anything. Of course. Uh, we need to find a secret lock to the secret key. Locked drawer. Well, that might be it. Another file here. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Yeah, Shelton Benjamin. <laughs> or is it Sheldon? Mm. Sheldon. Oh, Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> the other one was Shelton. Like heard that name before. I think Shelton. I don't. Know. I can't remember. But it's definitely a familiar name. <laughs> um. Okay. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> More sherry. <laughs> Ah, it's just graffiti on it. What can we graffiti on this? It's going to do automatically, yeah. Not going to get a choice in that one. Secret <laughs> boost. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we close, close the draw? <laughs> no? Alright. Pro tip. When digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Hmm. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Alright, lock draw. Welcome to Shadyville. What's in the shoebox? There's a pair of shoes? Uh, no. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get caught at some point. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's start right from the top. Okay. I've told you I uh, can help me with my problem. Oh, I'm told you can you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Call you in 1-5. In, oh, 1-5. Call you in 50. <laughs> well, uh, this is a, isn't a charity. I'm going to... I'm I'm gonna need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl, and she has a big mouth. Ooh. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. Don't hurt her. 
Relax, I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You really need to teach her to behave better. Huh. Nothing? Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. Hmm. Hmm, I see. I have a feeling who this is. I'm told you can help me with my problem. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Yeah, it turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need more hands-on. Yeah. Hmm. James is working with Damon Merrick? Yeah, that's what I thought. This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking I about? I think so. Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? It's simple, either you do what I want, or your little problem becomes a big problem. Now, did you take care of the evidence or not? Ooh. What Shit. evidence? What do I say? You first. I know you're new to this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't F with me, let's see proof of the evidence. Huh. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is, unless I send him a picture. A picture? Alright. What? But, um, it helps. It would help if I know what this evidence is. Letters? Sarah sent all these letters. Ah. James never gave them to Rachel? Okay, well, meh. Yeah. You guys can pause and read it. 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 So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Yeah. Oh, there's a filing cabinet back here. Very secretive. This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Okay. Look, picture, knife, picture, glove. Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. Okay, well, I decided to take a picture of the glove because they all seemed, um, like all part of the same thing. Uh, same dates, same, it was all connected to the same thing, so I don't think it mattered. 
which one you took a picture of, but I think the gloves, well, besides from the actual weapon, um, I think, you know, the gloves would have all the DNA on it, um, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, I, to, I decided to take a picture of that. So, yeah. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. Right. Burn glove, huh? Okay. Yeah. Hopefully we're doing the right thing. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, you have to do what you have to do to progress the story. If the fire alarms don't go off. <laughs> oh. Oof. Better not touch that again. Oh, okay. Is this the alarm system? <laughs> Since you just joined evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was the snitch. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with your problem yourself. Oh, God. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I... Please, uh, planning supper. What time do you think you... Oh. Don't wait for me, sweetheart, so we don't get enough family time as it is. Does Rachel want to join this? She's very welcome to. Mom, I just can't say this tonight. Chloe, is everything okay? Yes, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, okay, love you. Yeah, love you too. Blah 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 I need blah. To find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Let's look at each one of them. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Mm-hmm. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Hmm, I don't think it's, I don't think it'd be Frank. Possibly that guy. I don't think it'd be him. Uh, it's either I think I think it's either him or that guy. But do I take a guess here, or is there more evidence? Sarah sent all these... The Sarah in... So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. I'm gonna go with that guy. Payment? Fuck. I don't know if I've accused the right guy, but I don't know. I couldn't find any evidence. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. But where would it be? Um... I don't know. Sawdust. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Hmm. I didn't see the sawdust there before. Ooh. These secrets in Acadia Bay. 
think it's time to move out. <laughs> move away. Too many secrets in that KDA. Oh, that's a lot of money. Holy shit. Alright, good work, and here's your girl ready to go. Oh. Fuck, that's Sarah. Oh. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Let her go? What? I'm not gonna let her go. On my way, don't do anything in the meantime. You really are new at this. Better hurry, this chick's starting to get me. Oh, no. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Oh no! Elliot? Oh, Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> That's my response to <laughs> What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did you really just follow me here? Did you Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... You don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... Stop suggesting that she's somehow... Bad the for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough! Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I- I promise, no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy! It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. 
Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Um, this situation is getting a bit aggressive, so yeah. <laughs> Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. Mm-hmm. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Yeah, down past the DA lives here. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I thought he was a good guy. Um. I feel trapped. Boxed in. I desperately want to leave this situation. Yeah. It takes yeah. a lot of guts to tell me all this. Yeah, I and thought I thought he was a nice guy, but know. he's starting to be a little bit creepy. <laughs> I will always be there for you. No matter what. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> it's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. Uh oh. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. It was all him. He did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was all him. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought he, I thought he was a nice guy to begin with, and then uh, just in that little moment, uh, he started to be a little bit creepy. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, we escaped safely. Um, I didn't think trying to push past him or walk past him or whatever it said. I didn't think that was a good idea because you know he would just push me back. So. Um, Anyway, yeah, we're on the road again. Um, yeah, we're speeding around the corner. <laughs> oh, there's blood stain. Oh god. Oh, that number plate is still hanging on for its life. So, 
much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad. Who's been lying to her all her life. And he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? Um, I don't think, I think you didn't. I think you didn't. You yeah. You didn't have to. Yeah, you didn't have to. Yeah. You didn't. Right? No. Did you love me less? He's going to say he did. <laughs> Depends what it was. Of course not. Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? Hmm. It's not true. <laughs> Very true. Um, I wish you'd told me when you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. Oh. Hmm. No word. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, we don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Yeah, alright. Is this the finale? I don't know. But, um, is someone gonna get hers? Uh, I expect so. And, yeah, this is, uh, it's really interesting, uh, episode. Um, even though it doesn't, it doesn't have the rewind powers, uh, like in the first game, but, uh, you know, I, I'm still finding this interesting. Um, I wasn't so sure, like, right at the start of the first episode. But now that we're, you know, properly into it, uh, I like it, and I like I like being in this world uh, once again. Hmm. So I wonder how this is going to turn out. Probably bad, as I said. Someone is probably going to get hurt, and uh, yeah, here we go. Right back at the beginning, the old mill. It's daytime this time. <laughs> Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. 
that. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Well, uh, well, this looks a bit different. <laughs> Where the hell is Sarah? Yeah, this looks. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it it looked run down before, but now it's uh, now it's a bit dark. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Don't tell me what to do. Glad to see the bone made. Yeah, take take the knife, yeah, for safety. <laughs> Ooh. Uh I don't know if I accused the right person. <laughs> I don't know, I just took a guess. I couldn't find any more evidence, so I don't think they were. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, we got this far. you out of the picture so that's what's going to happen this is so messed up after all no one believes a junkie no he said you've been sober a year respect it's hard to kick this shit You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? Can we just talk about what's going on here? Okay. What should we talk about? Whatever James promised you, he's a liar, and a cheater. He'll screw you over the first chance he gets. <laughs> you think I'm a fucking idiot? James Amber came to me because he was desperate, and now I'm squeezing him for all he's worth. <laughs> oh. No. Don't worry, I've got this. Talk I've got this. Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm 
just trying to help. Oh no! Get away from her! I said, shut the fuck up! No. Go to your fucking happy place. Right. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Ho, 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Oh no, none had gone, Frank. Go on, Frank, be his <laughs> Oh god. Oh no, now everything's going dark, okay. Could that could that have gone differently? <laughs> I don't know. So here, we're awake. Okay, what happened? Who's still alive? Who's still with me? <laughs> oh, that was a pretty nasty kick to the head. Sarah? Chloe Price. Oh, is this a dream? Where's Frank? Where our demon. Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Is this real or is this a dream? I don't know. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I... I am so, so sorry for Rachel can never know. This might be real, but how did she know Chloe's name? That's what I'm wondering, how did she know Chloe's name? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel... Can never know. <sighs> That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No. She doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? 
car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. It was a truck. You don't know what this is to me. Every I said it was a train. <laughs> every fear. But yeah, okay, it makes more sense with the truck. No more the sadness. truck might have been mentioned no more uh, in the first game. I don't know. Why would I can't remember. <laughs> want to feel that way? Ever. I, I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. I used to think my dad was perfect. But now, I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone. And it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a nice thought. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? I can't lie to Rachel. I, I won't do it. She trusts me. And I don't want to ruin that. If you love her, you'll lie to her. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Wait. 
Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to convince her uh, otherwise. Uh, and I, I don't think I don't think I can lie to Rachel. I think, you know, I think she deserves the truth. And you know, if I lie to her, and then you know, a few months or years down the line, like you know, she finds out. I mean, we know what eventually happens. But you know, if she in in that time, if she finds finds out that I lied to her, then you know that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, she deserves Hello? the truth, and, you know, hopefully, you know, with that, Hi, Chloe. um, Rachel's you know, we can, you know, all the, all the secrets would be out, and hopefully we can try to move past it, you know? But if I lie to her, there's always that, there's always gone. something hanging over our, Maybe our heads, and, uh, um, honesty is hey. always the best policy, so I'm gonna hush now. Go back to sleep. Can I talk to Chloe alone for a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Tell Rachel and protect Rachel from the truth. Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, ah. Uh. Yeah, I, I've explained what I think uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, I, I don't think, you know, she deserves the truth. I mean, you know, she's had, she's, yeah, she deserves the truth because, you know, she hasn't known about any of this for, you know, all this time. And I think, you know, it's time, it's time that she does know. You know, I think. You know, I think that's the least that she des she deserves. Um. You know, and I think I think anyone would want to know. Like, you know, if if they were going through the same thing, I think I think they would want to know. You know, instead of living a lie. Um. <laughs> I think this is one of the hardest choices we've had to make in the Life is Strange game. Like, out of everything. Um, I, th I think this is one of the hardest choices, definitely. Well, I think it's the second hardest choice, because the hardest choice is definitely at the end of the first game. <laughs> I keep mentioning the first game a lot, but, um, that's, that's definitely what I'm comparing this to. And, um, it's obviously where the story is, you know, leading up to, you know, it's going to connect up eventually. Um, if we see that uh, actually happening or not, or, you know, I, I don't think we, we'll see we'll see it connecting up, but we know it, we just know that it's going to. Um, but I think I'm going to tell her the truth because yeah, I've explained my side, so yeah. Um, you know, it might hurt to start off with, but you know, we've got time. We've got time. I hope I clicked on the right one now. <laughs> oh yeah, well, 
Judging by her face, I think I, I think I did. Yeah. I'm not sure if I made the right choice now. <laughs> oh, um, oh, maybe you. Oh, I don't know. I think. I I think really. I think I would have talked to her dad, like in real life. I would have talked to her dad and made her dad tell tell her the truth. That's what I think I I would have done in real life, maybe. But I don't know. You know, you think. You think of things differently when it's happened to, when it's actually happening to you. I'm gonna be so annoyed when if I, if I find out uh, like you know there's a better ending. <laughs> I mean this isn't this isn't a bad ending. Um, oh, at least that's some good news. Chloe might not like it right now, but yeah. <laughs> All right, well, she seems okay with it. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, he started going a little bit creepy at the end. It's a shame though. She seems happy. Was that okay? I was about to ask, is that the end? But no, still going. Oh, she died ahead. Ah, oh, nice. That's the color. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot she had a little, little pink and purple going on as well. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I remember looking at those stuff in the other game. On the wall and stuff, yeah. This is the good times that Chloe was talking about. I'm gonna hush, you know. Okay, that was it. Episode 3, Hell is Empty. Oh, okay. That was a bit of a roller coaster. Um, but I think... Uh, I, well, I'm hoping I got the best ending. Oh, probably one of the best ending. Um, because I know... Uh, with previous experience that you get different endings depending on your choices. Um, and hopefully I've got a good one. Um, I would be really annoyed if, well, not really annoyed, but, like, <laughs> tiny bit annoyed if, uh, you know, I found out you'd get a better ending. Um, but I think I did alright. Um, you know, I don't, I think telling her the truth on all those things is the best way. Yes, it damages her relationship with the father a little bit, but, you know, I think, especially after all this time, I think she deserves the truth. And, um, yeah, so, I told you the truth, and everything seemed, seemed to, you know, go well, um, David asked Rose to marry her, to marry him, <laughs> to marry him, um, and, uh, Rachel and Chloe seemed happy, uh, but we all know what happens eventually, um, the Elliot guy, he started off as a nice guy, but as I said, went a tiny bit creepy, and yeah, he got kicked out of the school. Um, I, I think he got kicked out, I mean, he was packing his stuff up, so, yeah. And, um, well, Frank dealt with Damien, Dame, Damon person, um, he really need, de needed uh, to be dealt with. Um, but, yeah, it's a shame that Rachel and her mother, Sarah, never got to actually meet. Um, I, that's another thing I would be annoyed at, if I find out that there's a way to actually get them to meet. Um, you know, by making different choices. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with my ending. Um, a couple of choices here and there, um, in this episode, I think I would, you know, if I... If I was to play it again, I, I would make differently. Uh, but all in all, I think you know I'm I'm fine with I, I'm fine with the ending. I mean, Rachel and Chloe was happy, and you know the majority of the, of the people uh, in Arcadia Bay was happy. And um, yeah, you know Rachel didn't end up hating Chloe at the end, so I think that's uh, you know accomplishment. Um, but Maybe if we didn't tell tell her tell her the uh, truth to start off with, you know, maybe it would it would sort of be at the same ending anyway. But I don't know. I I I feel like I'm always I'm always an honest person, and that uh, you know I think if you if you keep lies from somebody and then you know they find out that you you've been keeping uh, these secrets uh, from them from for all this time, I think you know it'd be it'd be it would be even worse. And even more upsetting for the the, the person being uh, being lied to or being kept in the dark. Um, so I, I I always think honesty is the best policy. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I definitely have enjoyed, and um, I wasn't too sure about how this game would work uh, without the rewind powers. Um, I know it was a bit. Uh, 
I wasn't sure about it to start off with, but you know, I gave it I gave it a chance. I've played all three of the episodes, and I actually quite like it. Um, I think it's it's a nice uh, addition uh, to the original uh, game, and I like at the end um, you see saw Chloe uh, getting a full um, the full full dye in her hair, <laughs> whatever, and the tattoos and the outfit. It's more or less there now. Um, so, you know, it's slowly connecting up, and, um, it's just a shame as what happens next, you know, to Rachel and the Dark Room and Mr. Jefferson and all that, um, but, yeah, yeah, it's a good game, I love Life is Strange and I loved being in this world again, and I can't wait to play Life is Strange 2, because this wasn't Life is Strange 2, this was a prequel Life is Strange before the storm. Um, they they are working on Life of Strange 2, and it's going to come out at some point. I don't know, maybe this year. So you know, it's 2018 now. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have, you know what to do: like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. So yes, that was my review. That was all the good stuff being said. So yeah, live long and prosper.